what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Johnson if you welcome to a video a regular video and today I just want to talk to you guys about saying thank you you know to all of y'all I also want to say uh, you know I want to talk about what my content is going to be next year for the year 2021 and also kind of want to review this year and what I did and you know how it pretty much changed the way I do things now to start off by saying you know this year has been a hell of a year i think i had so much fun regardless of me insulting some of the developers out there for certain games you know still you know uh, i i respect those games they're pretty much fun and you know like i said don't take anything literal the, whatever i said in these streams it's all fun and it's just a bunch of gamer moments you know so uh, overall i respect all these games that i played this year and uh it's been pretty difficult. It was a pain in the ass, but overall, we ended up, we ended up passing every single one of these games that I thought I was never gonna play to begin with. So uh, it all started with God of War on the hardest difficulty, which is called "Give Me God of War." The fuck out of here, man! Fucking bullshit. And that one, you know. That Valkyrie is going to give me PTSD. <laughs> but uh, the next one that we played after that one was uh, Ghost of Tsushima on Lethal Difficulty. No! Oh, why didn't I move back? I knew the attack, bro. I knew the attack. Just move back when he does it. I'm like, okay, take a second to set up. Take one second to set up, dude. I freaking had him. I had him right there, dude. It was a pain in the ass, but we still managed to pass it. And then we moved on to Sekiro, where I believe I have one of the most underdeveloped characters of all time. Jesus Christ. Sekiro has... is in love with the floor. You know, I just skipped a bunch of the mini bosses. That's what happened with that game, and that was my fault. But it's still, it was a fun game. <laughs> um, anyways, the next one, of course, the last one that we passed was Bloodborne. Huh? And so, the hunt begins again. What? That's it. It was a walk in the park at this point. After all these three games, it was like nothing. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we played all these games and I learned that uh, pretty much I can take off really, really, really tough games. And, you know, I'm glad. I can't wait to play like Demon Souls or the next God of War Ragnarok on the hardest mode. I want to play it like that because it's more challenging. It's super fun to me. And that's what changed about me now. And I want to play everything on the hardest mode. I think one of the lowest points of this whole year of the 2020, um, it was Saints Row 2. I did play it, and uh, I just didn't enjoy myself as much as I thought I would. I thought I would enjoy playing it live, but to be honest, it was a hassle. I mean, some of the features in this game have been outdated at this point that I just think that uh, it, it was just nostalgia, but <laughs> it, it, it's just a lot of things have been outdated. That's all I'm going to say about Saints Row 2. And I just wanted to finish as fast as possible because I just felt like it was just dragging at that point. There was also some games on the side that I did play that I kind of enjoyed too. Uh, Man of Medan, which is from the Dark Picture series, and the other game, which I forgot the name of already. But uh, I also played Until Dawn. You know, all these three games combined, they were fun. They were super fun. I recommend them to you all when they're like 20 bucks or something. Some other games that I did play was God of War 3 Remaster. I understand why that game was revolutionary. And then also, uh, I did play, in the beginning of the year, I did play Modern Warfare. I played Apex Legends and Rainbow Six Siege. All of these three games were super fun also. And Modern Warfare, I didn't struggle this as much this year. I think Modern Warfare was a pretty good game, and I did super good too. So anyways, uh, after all of this, I just wanted to give thanks to some certain people out there who have been stopping by on my streams or have been here for years, you know. I just want to say thank you to uh, Diabolical Hugh. You know, you've been here for years. I've been supporting me and seen every single rage moment that I've done so far. Also, the next guy, uh, Pineapple Man, which I keep getting your name wrong. Uh, you know, thank you for stopping by too. You know, you stop by here and there every other stream and, uh, you know, it's been great to see you over and over again. You know, thank you for stopping by too. Cow Cow, on YouTube, bro. Um, I believe you're the one that streams sometimes, right? I'm from mobile games, you know, thank you for stopping by too. And uh, Grouchy, also you stop from time to time, you know, it's, it's glad to see you here. And, you know, I'll always remember the Division times, 
and for the rest of you all who have nothing to say sometimes you know still thank you to, to you all you might want to say hi at some point maybe i'll mention your name from time to time but yeah you know it's been it's been uh it's been a hell of a year <laughs> i did enjoy it a lot i had even though it was a pain in the ass it still is it was a fun year overall so what are my plans for next year of the year 2021 I'll start it off with multiplayer online, of course. I'll be playing shooter games, Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, and Call of Duty. I'm just not really sure about Call of Duty Cold War, though. That game has been really criticized, but that's how we're going to start it off over the next six months. It's kind of like a rebirth, and uh, I really want to step it up. Some things are going to change, of course. Maybe this wall is not going to be here anymore, too. So, I mean, we played all these games, and that's, that's how I show my respect to them, you know, with all these things it's it's been <laughs> you can tell it's been a kind of a hell of a year so what is my overall review grade of the year 2020 uh last year i gave myself a c minus i believe well this year i gave myself a c plus regardless of views regardless of low amount of you know views and all that um and of course, a lot of subscribers along the way. <laughs> but it's all good. You know, I enjoyed myself. I had fun. That's what counts. And I'm not treating this as a business. Like some people seem to think that I'm doing. But no, it's not a business. At this point, it's just a hobby. And it's fun. I like this. I like to talk to random people on the internet and that tell me hi. And, you know, they might be from Russia. They might be from Germany. They might be from freaking Spain. I don't know. Fucking it's amazing overall. So uh, that is it guys I wanted to talk about today. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more and leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next stream. See ya.